How to deal with a control freak sibling. Hey, this is Brad from probateresource.com. We built Probate Resource to be an all-encompassing resource to help people through the probate process and help answer all the questions they might have because we know and we understand that this is a sort of an unknown journey to most people. Um, we're also a real estate solutions company uh, specializing in the world of probate and inheritance properties. We buy properties for cash, or if you wanna go the traditional route, we have a fantastic network of real estate agents across the country that are probate and inheritance specialists. If you're trying to get your probate property sold, give us a call. All right, so let's get into it today. I wanna to talk about uh, the control freak sibling. Uh, we deal with it all the time. Um, where you might have a sibling and, and your maybe your parents passed away and you have that one sibling who's a bit of a control freak. And maybe they didn't get appointed as uh, administrator or executor of the estate, or maybe they did, um, but nonetheless, you have to deal with them. What do you do? How do you deal with a person like that? Well, over the years, we've worked with a lot of control freak sellers. My best piece of advice is, as much as you don't wanna do this, is you've gotta stroke their ego a little bit. You've got to give them a sense of control but at the same time, you can still control things a little bit to get things to the finish line. And the way you do that is through giving them options. Say, hey, that's a great idea that you came out with. What about this or this? You know, kind of, they're gonna have their opinions and they might still wanna pick what they wanna do, right? If you give them the, the sense of control, where they can still make the final decision. Or you can say, hey, you know, Susie, me and brother Johnny talked about this and we feel like this is the direction that we think we should take, but we wanna give you kind of the final say in that. What do you think about that? And they'll say, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. So, you have to kind of think, and there's some online resources to, to help you sort of navigate this a little bit better, but if you give them the impression of control and give them a lot of things to do, maybe give them a lot of busy work, feel like they do certain things, but then you can still manage them a little bit. Now, I understand it can be frustrating, right? Some people can be just absolute control freaks and they don't want to let go. Also understand that some people might go into control freak mode as a coping mechanism to deal with the death of a loved one. That's how their sort of their their stress and their anxiety and their um, grieving is sort of rearing its ugly head um, is through being a control freak, right? Because they they're in a situation that they can't necessarily control, so they're trying to control whatever they can control because they just. That that's all they know to do or that that's their coping mechanism. If you're going through that, um, first of all, before you go through any of this, I would highly suggest that you and your family members and everybody go through some sort of grief counseling, um, even if you don't think you need it. Trust me, I was that tough guy for years who felt like I didn't need to go through counseling. And and I, I uh, about a year ago, uh, a little over a year ago, um, my wife and I were faced with health issue with one of our sons and, um, I decided to go to counseling and talk to somebody about it. Uh, it was a basically a terminal diagnosis for Sonny He's still with us today. Um, he's beating the odds uh, and we hope he continues to beat the odds. But the reality is, is that we know in the back of our mind that that one day is gonna happen. We, I went to, I went to a therapist and talked to a therapist, went to multiple sessions. And, and, and I tell you what, I felt so much better after that, just talking to somebody about it, just, just speaking with a professional about it and it helped sort of take a big weight off my shoulders and help me deal with that because I really just needed to talk to somebody about it. And maybe you can't talk to certain people. So understand when you're going through these situations, maybe you have that, that sibling who's a control freak, that's their way that their stress is rearing its ugly head. And, and you might not be able to convince them to go to, to therapy or whatever, but maybe you lead by example. Maybe you start going to therapy and maybe your brother or your sister, if you have other siblings, maybe you guys start going to you know, maybe the same practice, but there's a different therapist. Usually there's sort of conflict of interest. The therapist may not want to see you and your siblings all at the same time just because of sort of crossing those boundaries. 
Um, but if you lead by example, that might help them a little bit sort of understand that. I would highly suggest you do that. If you need a referral to a therapist in your area, I'd be happy to refer you to that. We work with a lot of them. Um, some of them help contribute content to our uh, website. Um, so I hope this video helps you out a little bit. I hope it maybe gives you a little bit of tips. I just wanna throw a few nuggets out there. Um, so if you're dealing with that, you're dealing with a state situation and you're dealing with that control freak sibling, there are ways to give them a little bit of control, but you still control a little bit be, because you're basically just kind of stroking their ego a little bit. Hope that it helps out. I'm Brad with probateresource.com. If you have a property that you've inherited that you wanna sell, if you want a quick, fast cash offer, you don't want to mess with it, we buy houses. We buy houses all over the country. We'd be happy to make you a cash offer and we make it as easy as possible. Go over to our website at probateresource.com. You can see some of the testimonials from some of the other people who we purchased their properties. Um, or if you want to go the traditional route, I have a fantastic network of real estate agents that I work with all across the country that are probate and inheritance specialists. We'd be happy to refer you to the, one of those agents to help you get your house listed and on the market if you want to go the traditional fashion and list it out on the market. So thanks for watching this video. I'm Brad with probateresource.com. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.